Hello everyone. Namaskar. Sasriya Kala Adab. Welcome to day 18 of the Power BI learning series by DFK Learner. So today's topic is how you can split columns into multiple columns or multiple parts. Whether it is names, product ID or code, Power BI makes it easy to split columns by delimiting fixed length or fixed character length or even using advanced logic. We'll walk through splitting by delimiters like space, comma or hyphen, using character count to split consistently. And also we're we'll looking at looking at some advanced options like left or leftmost or the rightmost split. We'll not be working on detecting and setting the column data type correctly because that we have covered yesterday, but I'll sh still show you a small bit example in which you can see that once you have split, you can detect and you can put it, uh, assign a correct data type to it. And we'll all see common pitfall like missing values or incorrect types and how to fix them today. We have seen that same, some part of it yesterday as well. So we can check that. And coming tomorrow, that is day 19, we'll learn how to combine multiple columns into one. Perfect for creating full name, addresses, and more. So request is uh, to keep tuned and keep learning with DivK Learner. And if you have any queries, you can ask it and learn it. And before I go there, um, go into the demo part of it or to the walkthrough of it. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe it. If you like what I am trying to teach here, please like it and share it with the people who would also be interested in learning Power BI or who would be working on Power BI. So very quickly, I'll just open up the Power BI desktop. I have some data here, so I'll click on Get Data and I'll say Get a text or a CSV file. So if I see here, I have a file which is named as Power BI Split Column Demo. Yesterday I was mentioning that I'll be sharing these files with you as well as the Power BI report. Give me some more time. I'm just analyzing a couple of things, how I can do it. And most probably I'll be sharing it on the web to you, right? So this is where we have the data. We can, once we have the data here, that is once we have <clears throat> got the data, what we can do is we can click on the transform data. So once we click on the transform data, it will open up the Power Query Editor. And that is where we are trying to put in the maximum learning or the, there, right? Now, if you see sales rep, right? If you see the sales rep, we see that it is having first and the last name in the same column. What we want to do is we want to split this column and we want it to be delimited uh, be delimited by the space that is there between the first and the last name. But if you see, before I move forward there, you have delimiters, you have number of characters by position, by lower to uppercase, by uppercase to lowercase, by digit, non-digit, by non-digit to digit. So these are the kind of things that you can do. Well, let's just go with the delimiters. So uh, it's it has automatically detected that it, you're wanting to work on the space and you want it to be divided on each occurrence, right? So I don't want anything there, none in the editor. We'll also see about the advanced one number of split columns to be split into four or might be we are saying in the columns or we can split it in the rows as well. But let's just stick to the split in columns where we'll have two columns, one with Michael and the other one with more. And I click on OK. And you see <clears throat> we have three columns being created, one for the first name, the second for the last name, and the third one for the middle name. And some, some of them have the fourth name as well. But in fourth name, I think most of them would be, yeah. So fourth name is nothing, but it is their, uh, what do you call it? This, their title or might be uh, the prefix with their name. So that is their degrees. 
so that's in column so here we have some of them having some degrees here and some of them having some degrees here as well now that's a very good thing because now you have split it into four right and we see that couple of values are null and we have values in the first and the second as well and if we see this is the first name this is the uh, mr or mrs the title or the prefix that we are using there and then we have the name so some of the data is not correct we can work on further more things to uh, refine it but in this video i'll not be going through refining those things so what i'm going to do is I'll, i'm going conveniently going to remove them i don't want them to be there now we saw that uh, some of them were having titles as well like miss mrs or mr so what i'm going to do is what we did yesterday i'm going to remove them as well so i have no other confusion so mr miss and mrs i'm removing just checking if we have anybody as master there as well okay let's just remove it and uh somewhere i'll see that i think now we are sorted we have the first and the last name being listed in the different columns now if we see this one right the, let's go to the next column which is product code so we see that it is having two things there right first three are the character uh, or or the category of the product and the last numbers are the digits which are digits for the uh, digits for the product actually so we want to split them in the first three characters as acc and the numbers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to again go there split the column number of characters so i want it to take first three characters once as far as left as possible once as far as right as possible so if you want to remove the third three from the right and repeatedly you want it to divide into three uh, sets of three but in my case i just require the first three characters right and it has to be happening only once on the left side and i'll click on okay so you now see that i have acc and the number so this has been split as well and the system has been smart enough to take the numbers as well give the um, text to the first column so if it has not been detected correctly we could have gone ahead and we could have corrected them by reducing the number of columns and doing the other things there now you see that we have five different categories there because there are five distinct values and uh, the product code is unique throughout so this was a small demo that i wanted to show you about splitting by the delimiter or splitting by the number of characters right so um, that is and the advanced option left most each occurrence so i was i tried to show you that as well if you want to rename any uh, new columns and remove the unnecessary one we have removed the unnecessary one if you want to re rename the column what you can do is you can do a double click on it and it will become changeable or what you can do is even on the if you're there right and you do a right click you get an option to rename it here as well or else if you don't want to do it from the m query you can do it from the front end as well which is the visual part which is the dax part as well okay coming back to the slides so these were the things that we have done and if you can change the data type if it has not been correctly placed in there splitting helps break complex and multi-values columns into individual usable part improving clarity and enabling deeper analysis so that's what we can do we can split the names into first name and the last name 
extract code and identify from the SKU or the order IDs, break down addresses or data, dates for mapping or grouping, improve joins and data relationship by normalizing. Some tips, you always verify your delimiter before splitting them. You can use the advanced option to control the splitting. We have sh I've shown you something that in which you could uh, identify the left one, right one, or if you wanted bigger one, as in you wanted to split in a number of characters more than two or in in more than two columns, then you can do it. And once you have done it, you should always check that the data is correct, coming in the right data type. And if required, you can rename the columns as well. Now. Uh, I just want to know from you that you can you can put it in the comment that your toughest power bi transformation issue i'll pick it pick one of them to cover in the future video so let's see if we can solve it together you can drop it to me in the comments and we'll i'll pick up one of them or might be two of them as the time may permit and i'll create some videos there again if you have any questions you can drop us drop in a question in the in the form google form that i would be sharing with you the first few questions are free but if you have more than those questions you can ask them and uh, i've kept it very cheap uh, or very uh, economical there are two plans for 49 and 59 each of them you can ask like five or nine questions so once again before we end uh, i thank you thank you for listening and if you like the video please like it if you feel that it is helpful to someone please share it with them as well and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel thanks have a wonderful day ahead bye bye